What's up guys, today you're gonna to learn how to do this clone freeze frame effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you want the stock footage, I'll link it down below so you can follow along. So let's get started. All right, so here I have the clip of the original footage. The first thing we wanna do is retime it to do some slow motion. So let's go to the point right where he flips, right click on the clip, select retime controls, click on the down arrow of the 100% and add a speed point. Then when he lands, do the same thing, at a speed point there, then drag this top little arrow until we see the 40%. So the next thing we wanna do is duplicate this clip by holding down Alt or Option on our keyboards, dragging this up and going to the point right where we wanna start our first freeze frame. So I'm going to do it right when he takes off, which is right about there, drag the clip up like that. With that clip selected, come up to the top of your screen, select clip and then select freeze frame. Then come over to the right hand side where the inspector is, click on inspector, come down to the composite option and select darken. Then what you want to do is repeat that process for the next freeze frame. So go to the point right where you want to do the next freeze frame, which I'll do right there. Highlight our original clip, hold down alt or option on our keyboard, drag that up, trim that clip to that point where our playhead stopped. Again, with that clip selected, come up to the top where it says clip, select freeze frame, and then again, come over to the inspector, select the composite mode and select darken. And then repeat that process for as many freeze frames as you want in your clip. Then in order to change the background sky to a time-lapse, what you wanna do is highlight the clips above our original clip, bring them up just one step, and then find some stock footage online of a time-lapse of some clouds or a sky, whatever you want. Go ahead and drag that into your timeline in between the freeze frames and the original clip. Go ahead and trim down that clip so it matches the original that we had from the very start. Then come over here with our playhead, select both of these clips, right click and select new fusion clip. Then go into fusion. Right now we have the video layered up backwards. So all you have to do is just swap this out. So this is on the foreground and that other clip is on the background. Then what you wanna do with the clip in our foreground, which is the backflip clip, click on media in one, hold down shift and press spacebar, type in Luma Kier, come up to the inspector, select invert. Then what you wanna do is drag up the darkness of the clip and also a little bit of the highlights. And for this specific clip, you can see there's a little bit of an outline around the subject. So you need to do a little bit of adjusting here to make sure that you get as close as a key as you can. I'm going to turn up the blur just a little bit and then also adjust the contract and expand. Also, the background clip isn't as big as I want it to be. So all I have to do is click on that clip, add a transform node and turn it up in the size so it covers up the entire frame. Then select the Luma key, come up to the settings under the inspector and turn down the blend mode to about 50%. Since this clip is shot on a tripod, what we can do to make it look a little bit more realistic is add some camera shake. So come up to the effects library, select open effects, type in camera, and then add camera shake. Now by default, it looks really wobbly and we don't want that. So come up to the inspector, select effects, and let's go ahead and turn down the motion scale and the speed scale. Now you can adjust those to however you'd like, but that works good for right now. Then select the compound clip and then come to the very beginning of the clip. Let's go ahead and keyframe the zoom X and Y. And I'm going to go right to the point where the first freeze frame starts. And I'm going to zoom in. Then when he flips, I'll zoom back out. And then since this is keyframed, it will automatically keyframe once you make an adjustment. Now the movement of the zoom in and zoom out is very linear. So in order to fix that, what we want to do is close the inspector. Let's give ourselves some real estate here. Make this a little bit bigger. Come down to the compound clip and select the curves adjustment. And you'll see here, these are our keyframes that we have. And you can select each one of these points and round them out. So it kind of gives it a little bit more of a realistic zoom in and zoom out effect. Now, just for the tutorial sake, all I'm going to do next is come up here to the effects library, select effects, drag an adjustment clip on top of our compound clip, come up to the inspector, 
at a crop top of 135 and crop bottom 135. That gives us those cinematic bars. You could either do the color adjustments before you do this effect, or you can simply just go ahead and drag on one of my LUTs from my Phenomenal LUT pack. So if you like this effect, check out this video right here. This is a more advanced tutorial on how to do this. It's great because that video will show you how to do this effect if the camera is moving, say you're on a gimbal or you're handheld filming a subject moving. It's very awesome, check it out. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. It really does help me. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video.